Hello developers. Today, we are going to build a Ludo game application. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your project. This kit provides a solution using Python for Ludo, one of the most popular simple strategy board multiplayer games. The script is written in Python 3 using tkinter designer library and pillow library for image manipulation. It demonstrates how to add graphics and images to your application using tkinter designer library. You will also build a similar solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. So what is a candy kit? Candy one-click install kits gives you a ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use kits on AI, augmented reality, gaming, blockchain, and many more on Candy. Today, we'll be using a popular Candy kit called Ludo Game App One-Click Install Kit. This kit is open source with a permissive license, which means you can freely edit, customize, and share your own solution. So let's get started. Over to you, Rihanna, for the hands-on walkthrough. Hello, hope you are all excited to build your own Ludo game in Python. To build a Ludo game in Python, we need certain libraries like Pillow, which is a Python imaging library that adds support for manipulating, opening and saving the images. Then a library called TK. It is an integral part of Python. It provides robust and independent windowing toolkit that is available for the Python developers who use this tkinter package and finally an id which is completely of your choice everything that you need is available in the candy kit let's start by installing the candy kit check the description below for the link to the installable this will set up your working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources you can download the installer here by clicking on this download one click installer icon and you can follow the instructions here to set it up. You can now pass the video to complete the installation. Once ready, hit the resume button. We'll jump right into building our own Ludo game in Python. Hope you are all set. If you have successfully set up, you can see a Ludo game UI on your screen. But before that, let's have a closer look at our main Python file that is Ludo game with Sam. First, uh, we need to import all the necessary libraries such as tkinter, which will basically create a new top level widget on screen and your new TCL interpreter will also be created. Then we are importing uh, the pillow library as well. Let's jump into our main function. We'll be initializing the module TK to a variable called window, which will create the user interface. Then a function call for geometry is made, which is to set up the height and width of the playing board. Then we are setting the maximum and minimum size for the heights and widths of the playing board to the values of 800 and 630 respectively. Then a function call for title is made by passing the title name that is play Ludo with Sam as a value. Next icon bitmap function is called by passing the location of the images to be added to the user interface. Then we are assigning values to the parameters that are declared inside the Ludo class. After that, an init function call is made by passing all the required parameters like window, block 6 side, block 5 side to block 1 side. Let's move to init function to get a clear picture of what this init function actually does. Inside the init function, initially a canvas of width 800 and height 630 has been created. Then some containers are created to store various different values like uh, storing four different types of coins, their labels, their prediction values, total number of people to be played, the coordination stores, their positions and counters, everything has been initialized inside this init function. Next, some default function calls are made for functions like board setup, instruction button, red, sky blue, yellow, green, and uh, take initial control. Board setup function will set up the boxes for four different coin blocks. 
next four functions that is uh, instruction button red sky blue yellow and uh, green functions will set up the number of the player to be played and how each coin should move and uh, their every possible moves will be declared inside these functions and finally take initial control function it will get the total number of players input from the user if the input is less than 2 then it is said to throw some input error and the user will be asked to enter the player count only between 2 and 4 so yes we had a closer look at our main python file let's see how to play this ludo game so yes this is our ludo game we have to first mention the total number of players let me give two and submit this is player one's turn we have to predict next player two's turn player one again player two player one Okay, player 2 got 6 now. We have to take one of the coins. Let me give 1 and give. After that, we have one more chance. Predict. We got 6 again. So, let me take another coin also. And one more chance. We got 2. Uh, let me move the second coin. It has forwarded to the second position. Now the player once turn. Player two again. Let me simply move the second coin. Player one. Okay. Player two got six. Now let me take this first coin out. Give one more chance. Let me take the second coin give it one more chance we got three let me move the second coin play two stern we got five let me forward it to the fifth position so yes this is how we should play this ludo game you now have a working ludo game Let's see how you can customize this solution. You have various customization options like changing the player numbers. You can change the dias images and also you can change the size of the playing board for the Ludo game. Let me show a quick example of how you can uh, customize the size of the playing board. Uh, for that, we need to edit the source code. In that, uh, we need to edit this window function. Uh, let me increase the height and width of this uh, playing board to 1830. After editing the source code, give it a run. Total number of players. Now you can see the changes in the height and the width of this playing board than which has been increased than the previous one. So congratulations, you now have your working Ludo game that you can customize for your application. Hope you found this session useful. You can find the link to the Ludo game application kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on AI, blockchain, augmented reality, and many more. Try out Candy Kits now. Hit subscribe and join the Open Weaver community of developers to learn to build many more such incredible projects. Thank you for watching the session, and until the next one, bye bye.